All right, I've been checking the chlorine level in my pool. And it's just not going up and I keep turning up the generator higher and higher and higher. Um, last year I'd run this thing at about 40% or 48, I think 48 is what I used all summer. And it stayed perfect. But I just recently cleaned the salt cell. And I'm, I don't know what cleaning it would have done to it unless I broke a wire, but it just doesn't seem to be working. So I checked my phosphates. It's pretty much at zero. So it's not a phosphate issue. It's not a salt issue. So maybe there's something wrong with the generator. So I'm gonna look. Make sure there ain't no snakes hiding in here. Don't have any error messages. Running at 86% and there's like no chlorine in the pool. So I'm gonna turn this off. Can y'all see that little black thing? Right, I don't know where the camera's at, right in there. This is a flow switch. I just replaced it because it went bad. It actually broke off. Here's the other end of it. And usually there is a, see, can y'all see that? Yeah. Usually there's a little, you can go look on Amazon, see what they look like, but usually there's a little finger that sticks out here when the water is flowing it pushes it down and it makes a connection and that's this firm connection tells the chlorine generator that the pumps running and so this is the other end of that one that's broken all I'm gonna do is wire this together so I can trick this machine into thinking the pump is running so now it's wired together take the real one out put the fake one in all right and so now it should think that the pump's running so now we're going to take our chlorine generator out stick this in a bucket of water and we can look and see it's clean don't see any damage looks fine and basically I'm gonna turn this I'm gonna turn that chlorine generator on and it should start making chlorine gas We can actually test it with a test strip. So let me get two test strips out. We'll do one. You can see, I mean, no chlorine. So let's turn it on, see if it starts bubbling. All right, so the no flow light is not on, so it thinks it has flow. So we should start see it start bubbling in about a minute because it waits. There's some kind of safety thing. Oh, look, see, it's making chlorine. Now that's chlorine gas, so be careful.
free chlorine's just off the freaking charts. So the thing's working. So basically that tells me maybe I need to add cyanuric acid because there's really two things that'll eat up. The sun will eat up chlorine. That's what cyanuric acid helps protect it from. And then if you have a bunch of phosphates, because phosphate is basically algae food, if you have a bunch of phosphates, your chlorine won't show up because it's constantly killing the algae and they're constantly reproducing because there's a ton of food there. But I just use PR. That stuff right there. PR 10,000, it's empty, but I just keep this on and went to order, which I got to order one. That kills phosphates, it takes it out of the pool. And I just checked, checked my phosphates and they're at zero. So pretty much at this point, I'm 99.9999% sure that I need to add cyanuric acid. I mean, I don't know why I would have to add it this year and not last year, but at least I know my uh, generator's working. So that's a $900 bill I didn't want to... Now I'll plug in the reel. See, now watch when I unplug this, it's going to say... If I put it on auto... Now watch, it'll say no flow. Ooh, there's no flow. Now if I find the... I'll plug it in. Still says no flow. When I turn the pump on, it'll switch. So what I'll do is uh, I'll order some cyanuric acid, put that in there, and I'll let y'all know if that fixed it. Be back. Okay, it's Saturday morning, and I put the cyanuric acid in, or what people call stabilizer, uh, Thursday morning. There's no Thursday afternoon, so. And I put a bag of shock. So let's see, hopefully we still got chlorine. Oh yeah, it's doing good. So now that I know it's still be, it's able to hold the chlorine in, I'm gonna turn it down. I think I got it like up at 80 right now trying to pump chlorine into this thing, but. Yeah, 85 percent so we're gonna knock it down to 48 and i'll come back and check it in a couple days and if it's holding then okay it's been about two weeks uh since i did that last video um and it turned out to be the stabilizer so this is what I've used. I've been adding this slowly. I ended up putting all seven pounds in there. Um, but I was adding about two pounds at a time and monitoring. And it still shows my cyanuric acid level is low. But I want to keep it as low as possible. But as far as the, the chlorine disappearing, that was it. Um, adding the cyanuric acid really helped. And then now that I've got my cover on, um, that's helping too because one of the biggest things that eats chlorine besides little kids peeing in your pool is the sun um, and like my pool gets full sun pretty much all day so the sun will really chew through the chlorine a lot more than you think it would so hope this helps you know so if you're having a thing where you don't you, your salt cells you figure out that it's working and you just can't you keep shocking and it keeps disappearing you can't figure what's going on check your cyanuric acid levels. Um, the other thing to check, which I always keep a strong hold of, is your phosphate. Um, there's a couple of good phosphate removers on that you can buy. I'll put a picture of the one that I use. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll put a picture of it in here. Um, that makes a huge difference because um, if you keep the phosphates out, the algae doesn't really have anything to eat. So it keeps your algae low down and that also doesn't use a lot of uh, chlorine but right now I've got the generator set at 60% and it seems to be holding fine and I mean it's hot it's been like like right now it says it's 102 
and it's overcast. So, but I hope this helps somebody. See ya. Right, so you can see there's the pull cover, right? So let's see what happens when I shake the pull cover. If Leroy trips out or not. Boom. Boom. Uh-oh. Woo, look at him go. Oh, man. He's hauling. It's like, say what? All right. Leave him alone. See you, Leroy.